Hey guys, Brett Williams here from lifewithoptions.net and today I'm calling out all of my people pleasers. So when I've spoken to my clients, I think one of the most detrimental personal traits that I've seen show up is probably people pleasing. Now, you might think that there's a list of so many other things out there that could be so much more debilitating than people pleasing, but you know what? When you actually start to have the conversations with people who are people pleasers, they're serial people pleasers. I used to be a serial people pleaser myself. And the reason why I say it's so debilitating is because it's taking all of the power away from yourself. So what I wanna do is have a chat with you guys today and let's just talk about this whole people pleasing aspect. What is it, where's it stemming from? And let me give you a couple of ideas to start looking into it for yourself. So first and foremost, what is people pleasing? Let's just define it so we're on the same page. Ultimately, it's about giving too much of yourself to other people around you who may or may not deserve your time, energy, and effort? Is that something that experiences for yourself? So if it is, then all right, we're on the same page. So listen in, lean in, let's have this chat. When it comes to, as I said, people pleasing, it's around not having healthy boundaries for yourself. It's around not valuing yourself enough. And this is why I say it's one of the most debilitating experiences or debilitating personal trait that anybody could have is because it ultimately stems from a lack of self-worth and self-value. And you're probably saying, Brett, you don't have a clue what you're talking about. I value myself, I love myself, I'm amazing. And yes, in this moment, you're probably on that high. I know, I went through it myself. And then at the same time, when it came to maybe I had a bit of a lonely time, a little bit of a, you know, I was in a bit of a low emotional state, that was when maybe somebody asked me to help them out. And in that moment, I absolutely dropped whatever I was doing. I might be in the middle of doing something for myself that I've been wanting to do for so long, but yet if that person asked me, I would absolutely drop it. And it could have been anybody. I was always the friend who would help anybody move house, move this, do this, help with their website, bit of coaching on the side, whatever it was, I was there to help. But one of the things I also started to realize, and maybe you could understand, is that how many of your friends will be there for you? This was an awareness that I had that really said, okay, I need to take stock of this and really check in because if you find yourself having that experience, then we need to really think about where is the value for yourself? Where is that healthy boundary for yourself? All right, so we've talked about a bit of the pain and the problem and that sort of thing. As I said, I wanna give you some value on this one and I wanna give you a little bit of an insight and a bit of a solution. It comes back to boundaries, being able to set healthy boundaries. Now you're probably like, Brett, of course, I know boundaries, I've got boundaries. By all means, in the comments, correct me if I'm wrong, one of the biggest issues for people pleasers is saying no. When was the last time you said no to somebody? No, I cannot help you. My time is more valuable spent doing this. Now, maybe it's that underlying aspect of, oh, I don't wanna say no because then will they like me or whatever. And again, we're coming back to the people pleasing. Think about that one, setting that healthy boundary. Now, I'm not saying don't not help them at all. I'm not saying that at all. But what I am saying is the fact that when you actually offer to help somebody, set a boundary, set a guideline. Maybe it is, I'll use the example of helping somebody move home. Maybe it is saying, yeah, look, I'm happy to help you out on Saturday but I'm only able to help until midday. Because perhaps in a past experience, you know any time after giving that couple of hours, you're starting to build up resentment, frustration, and everything else towards yourself, the situation, and that individual. So it's around saying, yes, I can help, but this is my cutoff because you need to honor yourself too. One of the quotes that I really didn't understand enough of going back a couple of years, but it really was something that I wanted to grasp hold of, was the whole concept of putting your own oxygen mask on first. Because if you keep giving to other people, then you cannot give to yourself and you cannot give to other people in a big, powerful way. So it all comes back to putting your own oxygen mask on first and actually honoring yourself because you're worth it. Now, if I've started to open the door in some of this, as said, have a look into yourself. Have a look as to where you're operating from. One of the key core traits as far as where somebody is normally operating from when it comes to people pleasing is the need to be needed. I'll say that again, the need to be needed. Maybe you're having a bit of a low moment and you're operating from a place of needing to validate your own self-worth and you're doing that by giving to other people hoping that they're gonna come back to you and go, Brett, you're absolutely amazing. I really appreciate your help. I couldn't have done it without you. But in reality, most of the times when I've helped people, they've not even really acknowledged it in that sense. They might've had, cheers mate, really appreciate it. And in that experience, that builds up the resentment because I'm not getting the validation in the way that I expect from them. So just check in with yourself. And as always, if you got any value out of this one, like it, share it, comment it, show it some love. Leave me some comments down below. I wanna hear how is people pleasing holding you back from chasing your dreams? Cheers.